You might have noticed recently that a lot of baristas are using something like this, an espresso distribution tool, to get a more even extraction. But is this one of those niche coffee gear things that you don't actually need if you're making home espresso? Or will this small accessory make a huge difference to the extraction of your shots? So for the last few months, I've been trying and testing out this espresso distribution tool to see if it's actually gonna make a huge difference to your espresso at home, or whether it's one of those fads that you can just forget about. So what is the thinking behind having a distribution tool for espresso? So a distribution tool is designed to level out the coffee before you tamp down to avoid having areas of high compression and low compression, which can lead to channeling. Oftentimes you may tap your portafilter on the side of the table and have a relatively even looking surface before you tamp down, not realizing that actually when you're tamping, there's a certain part of the coffee puck that will be a lot more compressed and then there'll be parts of the puck that have way less coffee, which means that the water finding the easiest route through will go through the part that has less coffee and you'll lead to an over extracted, bitter and unpalatable coffee. The concept here is that you have these three fins and an adjustable leveler, so that when you put the distribution tool on top of your portafilter and spin it, it will level out all of the coffee inside the filter basket. Now there are a lot of different designs of distribution tool. Some of them like this one, which was about 20 pounds, is a very basic one, but there are much more expensive ones going into the hundreds of pounds for just a simple tool like this. So do you need to get an expensive one or is a cheap one just fine? I'll let you know my thoughts by the end of this video. I'm going to show you some espresso shots using the distribution tool and then also using just the tamper and then trying it with just the distribution tool and no tamp itself to see which one makes the best espresso extraction. I'm going to show you the espresso extraction with one of these, a bottomless portafilter. That way you can see if there's any channeling going on either when using the espresso distribution tool or when using the tamper or both. For every one of these shots, I'm going to use this Brazilian, Colombian and Ethiopian blend that I've been working on for a while. And I'm going to try and keep every single variable the same. Now this is difficult for espresso, but you've got to keep the dose, the tamp, the grind, the pressure, the temperature, all of these things the same if you want to have any one variable tested. So to test the tamp alone and with the distribution tool, I'm going to keep everything else exactly the same. Okay, enough of me talking. I'm going to pull some shots and let's see if this distribution tool is actually worth your money. This is the first extraction with the distribution tool and the tamper, so I'm gonna see how it tastes. This shot with the distribution tool and the tamper was really good, so I'm gonna try it now with the tool by itself and see if it can pull a really nice shot without the use of the tamper for compression. Something to keep in mind when you're not brewing coffee is keep your portafilter locked into the group head. This will heat it up and hopefully it will help you to have a more consistent shot because the portafilter will always be heated. Thank you. 
This is the espresso with the distribution tool only. I'm gonna see how it tastes. So the first thing I notice is that there's actually more weight in the cup. The first one was 15.7 grams in and 29 grams out. This one has 31.1 grams. So there's a little bit more espresso coming out and I guess that's because of the lack of compression, which means that it'll come out a little bit faster. Now, I know it's a little bit subjective, but I feel like without the tamping, just using the distribution tool, I get a cleaner taste in the final cup than with the tool and with a tamp. Now I'm gonna try with just the tamp itself and I'm gonna see if just using a tamp is gonna have a worse cup of coffee than with the distribution tool. Okay, so this is the espresso with the tamp only. Let's see if there's much of a difference in flavor between this and with the distribution tool. I feel like I'm tasting more bitterness and more sourness in the cup. Let's compare the extraction of these three shots side by side. You can see in this side by side that the shot that is pulled with the distributor only is the fastest to come together into a single stream. Now while this doesn't mean that the espresso coming out of it will taste any better, it is an indication that the coffee is being extracted at an even rate. It's for this reason that I'm going to continue using my distribution tool for making espresso going forward. So what do you think? Do you have a distribution tool and how have you found using it so far? Have you liked using it or do you think it's one of those niche tools that doesn't actually have that much effect on the espresso in the cup? Let us know in the comments below. Personally, I've enjoyed using mine and I have noticed a difference in the quality of my shots, but if you've already got one of those pressured tampers that stops at a certain amount of pressure, then you might not actually need one of these and it might not make much of a difference for you. If you are having trouble getting consistency with your espresso shots, you might want to pick up one of the lower end, cheaper budget models of this and see how you like using it. Now, I can't really attest to the quality difference between the distribution tamper that I've been using and one of the higher end models like the OCD 2.0 that come in at around 90 pounds. So if you're relatively new to espresso and you're not sure if you have a consistent tamp, it might be good to pick up one of these just to take that variable out of the equation and make sure that your espresso is coming up consistently. I'm also trying to put out more quality videos on a regular schedule about things that you want to know about getting cafe quality coffee at home. So tell me, what do you want to know about coffee? Put them in the comments below and I'll try and make videos about all of the things that are most popular with you guys. 